Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about an anime that I just love. Oh, yeah. And today I'm talking about Kamichu, um, which, for those with some knowledge of Japanese, means um, God Kiss, the kiss of the god. Um, and in this case, this is the god right here, the, the goddess specifically. Um, this is a story of a terminally cute junior high school student, um, and her experiences with being turned into a god in her uh, small seaside city. Uh, and it's uh, actually set in the 80s, 1980s, um, with a group of, of uh, uh, schoolgirls. And the thing is, this is basically um, spirited away the TV show in some ways, where, you know, imagine if all the gods all the little spirits, all that kind of stuff, actually existed and are, re are real and are going all over the place. You just can't see them, but she can. And she has to experience and deal with all of these, uh, these characters um, and deal with all the craziness of, um, of weird things happening um, and her having to do um, various rituals and such to, to deal with all that kind of stuff, as she literally is granted the powers of a god. Um, it's really charming. It's a lot of fun, um, especially the episode. I'll see if I can find it here. Where, there we go. Um, where they go to, is that, no, that's not it, that's not it. Where is it? Hold on. It's here somewhere. Um, it's not there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is this the um, god meeting? The God meeting, yes. Um, so they get to go to the land of the gods uh, and sort of hang out there and go to sort of... A, it's a god convention, basically. Um, all the gods come to hang out in this one spot, kind of like the, the bathhouse in Spirit Away, but just a, a whole dimension full of gods. It's fabulous. Um, and you kind of get to experience that and kind of deal with uh, what, what it's like. What's amazing about this series is that it manages to be healing a kind of very slice of life story um, while also telling a surprisingly wide variety of stories about these characters and, and dealing with school life and everything else going on while also weaving in little mentions of things and little elements of characters all of which get paid off in the final episode and I'm not going to tell you anything about that but there's a lot of little little bits around, you know, what characters are looking for and how, how characters are that you actually get a little bit of, get, get dealt with in the very end, which I really, really appreciate it. Um, um, again, it's really charming and fun, and they do this really smart thing. The authors said, um, you cannot put a cute girl in an anime series and just assume everyone's going to find her cute. What you do is you put a cute anime girl in a series and have all the other characters talk about how cute she is. Hmm. And then the audience goes, you know what? They're right. <laughs> <laughs> and so they do this in the show and it works brilliantly. Um, like you, you, you really feel for this girl and all the stuff she's going through. Uh, this is a really neat kind of trick that they, they did in, in Kamichu. Um, and there's just a lot of effort put into the show, a lot of charm in the show. Again, if you're if you like Spirited Away, that sort of concept of dealing with the gods, um, it very much that kind of that concept um, spread throughout 12 episodes of an anime series, uh, and just a, a lovely little healing show. So that is Kami Chu. Uh, 